What? You said I was welcome at the wedding. Hi, I'm Stephen Brogan. And this is Amanda Arcuri. I'm Richard Walters. Natalia Gabian. Hi, guys. <laughs> um, I hope the fans feel the same way. I truly think that this is the best season of Degrassi ever. Um, I'm really proud of you guys. I think it was a really, really a fantastic show uh, this season. Okay. So good work. Um, I got to say, New Blood. Yeah. You came in Thank kicking me. ass. Like, Thank you really you. came in <laughs> kicking ass. It was not an easy it. thing to do. What was the hardest thing for you? What was like, uh, it was a lot because there was like the accent, there was like, yeah, yeah the, the relationship. It was like my first on-screen kiss as well. So, um, yeah, so, um, so. Yeah, you're, you're a Syrian refugee who is, wasn't necessarily out back, in, back home, mm -hmm. but has figured out who she is mm -hmm. and loves like, High school musicals. Yeah, yeah, we were talking about. <laughs> so she's, she's kind, kind of, of a nerd, <laughs> like yeah, a little she's bit, super like kick ass. Yeah. And then she's also like, I like to do plays and musicals. <laughs> a North American kid would have been like, uh, "That's not cool. I'm cool." She's like, yeah. uh, "That's all cool." And especially coming to a new school too, where yeah. it's like that's very. It's like she's just herself. Like she doesn't. She doesn't have that like care for what other people think. I don't. I, don't I think. Well, I think like I like that about your character is that um, I think people see Syrian refugees or like people who are different. Um, from different countries, like there's a, a certain way, and like they're this yeah. way, and like it's just that weird. perception that other people see. Yeah, yeah exactly. And it, 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 it makes it more like like loving and homey, and yeah. it, that's it's the so thing. good. Yeah. There's a lot of people in Syria that prior to a war that happened on and the other lives. side of the world, they were normal teenagers sitting at coffee shops, studying, liking boys and liking girls. And, and watching high school musicals There's that stuff. whole part where she talks about wearing bathing suits at the beach. She's like, in pu and I think it was with the Goldie, and she's yeah. like, oh, yeah. in public? Like, in your bathing suits? And she's like, yeah, yeah, like, that's what we would do. I'd wear bathing suits to the beach. In front of boys? Yeah. And we'd play games, and win or lose, we'd shake hands. I'll always be Muslim, whether I touch a boy's hand or not. What do you think of that relationship? I think it's just, it's amazing how there's like the difference between the two and how like Rasha sort of sees it as like not really a big deal. And um, for Goldie, it's like a huge, huge thing. I think it just lies within like their connection and their relationship to their religion yeah. um, and how much they value it and how much like the, there's the, the different boundaries too. It's like, especially in Canada where everything's so liberal, mm -hmm. you don't know where the, bo the boundaries are crossed kind of and you don't know what's right and what's wrong. And so that's really what Goldie's. But it's also like, you know, Goldie's like become more conservative. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Based on how she feels about her, uh, uh, like other Muslims in other countries and trying to be, it's, a, it's sort of like a standing together for God. Yes, yeah. And she doesn't really know what you've been like back home. And for, it kind of, that kind of destroys your whole, how you find your faith. If you're going like, what do you mean you wear bathing suits? And, oh my, I can't agree with that if you can't. I can't touch a hand. And you're like, well, you don't know the rest of the world. Because it's not always like that. But you've seen me. How did you guys feel about as far as uh, Goldie taking off her hijab? I, okay, I thought that was, that was very, I, I took a lot of courage from her. I know, like, her beliefs are I very strong. I didn't want her to do it. You didn't want her to do it? It was exactly the way I wanted it. Yeah. It's a beautiful moment where yeah. she suddenly feels free for half a second. Half a second. That's I love that. Yeah. I love that that she could that you see like the process and she's like no 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 I can't do this. It shows just like you faith and like um, but, different perspectives, which is really amazing. And like I, I like that um, you don't wear it. It's cute. Yeah, yeah. I love that. But I love that. for Goldie, I felt like I uh, it's so kind of you're torn to liberate yourself, yeah. liberate, and also, wait a sec, stand by who you are, yeah. your beliefs. Yeah, don't, exactly. I, yeah, that's, yeah, don't, don't stray away from who, you're, who you are just yeah. because other, someone else is doing it. Which is tough, though. Yeah. It's hard, I, yeah, high school again. Like, Rasha was doing it like, because it was true to herself, you know what I mean? Where Goldie, she kept it because it was true to herself. Absolutely. Not. This is Rasha, she's staying with her family. I love how you and Anna really hit it off, I think, as actors. Well, yeah, we just like got along too, and it just made the whole thing so That's much easier to just kind of like get into. It comes across on camera. Yeah. It really does, which really helps the love story. I think yeah. also that yeah, for sure. you're definitely. not afraid of each other or anything like that. Because right. you can look back now, wait, right back to Paris, for those characters, oh, and see Zoe, Zoe yeah. strangely overcompensating all the time for boys. 
Mm. And so when you come along, I can't believe how happy I was <sighs> that you guys had a chemistry. We just That's genuinely like each other. We're, yeah. gen we're genuinely, like, we get along and, like, our characters, like... It's like, love. Yeah, and yeah. it's like there's nothing that they can really do. Like, even when they go through, like, the hard oh times in their lives, like they come back to each other. Two years ago, I was invited to my aunt's for a party. The police arrived to question me. She had reported me for being gay. This is not the same thing. Really? You put me in a situation where people hated me for being who I am. Look, I'm not the bad guy here. We can get past this. I don't trust you. Did you get the fight at the wedding? Like for you, it's going, you did this to me. I remember we were talking about it and you said like some people might hate Rasha for this. Well, it's just because Zoe's bit. trying so hard, but Rasha really has a point. She does, she really does. She's been through hell. But at the same time, she never really, before that moment, she never really opened up to Zoe about it. You know what I mean? So yeah. she didn't really mention anything. So it's like Zoe's like, how did I really know? But at the same time, it's like, oh, well, how did I think, how did I not think about that? I feel like, you know, you can't, you have to be in someone else's footsteps. Yes. Because we're really wanting Zoe to stand up for herself against her mom. Mm -hmm. But she's dragging you around like a shield. That's very true, yeah, that, that, that is very true, yeah. Your story also with, with, with Shay, I, I kept was in like the first day of rehearsals and I'm going to like, you know, Raya like, so are you, are you cool with this story? Like I want to make sure, that she's like, yeah. Yeah, so an awesome, one of my, ironically, one of my favorite storylines for Tiny uh, this season was uh, the whole Shay having the period and, and all that. And, uh, all that grossness. You know, and, <laughs> and, and, you know, it, even I didn't really have to act in those scenes, really, because it was just the, the, like, because just like the scenario of her just like simply sitting on my lap, just an everyday casual thing after her run and stuff, like, oh, you did amazing. Wait a minute. Like, it's just, I, I, it's funny because I almost expected when we were reading it, I like made a joke in my mind. I was like, he's gonna come in with like huge bag of oh, yeah. thing, isn't he? <laughs> Because, like, the whole condoms thing with Zig yeah. and no, stuff, but that's like, just, oh that's oh his go-to thing, you know? Yeah, totally, so absolutely. That's his go-to, so. But it's so. also, it's, it's genuine. It is genuine. He was doing it to console Oh, my God, Shay, I like, totally got it. He it's had the one. best intention. I think that. it's, like, it's, it's cute oh, and innocent. It's kind of weird, but it's, like, <laughs> it's that's so sweet and you thought about it. It's thoughtful, it. oh, absolutely. It's, it's just, I mean, whatever, full on, like. Yeah, she totally freaks out. She's like, why did you do this to embarrass me? So she's still not owning it herself. Yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah. But. Talk about radical at the end of the episode. I was like, I can't believe we're doing this. We're them to all paint their legs with blood. That was weird. Oh. But that's a thing. <laughs> that's real. And I'm, all I'm saying is that we're talking about it so much, and we show, we're, we're saying so much. By the end of it, I'm not, I'm not weirded out as I was before. So, are we planning a baby shower? Most definitely not. <sighs> mm, I knew everything would be okay. <laughs> we should get to class. Mm -hmm. I just, I need a minute, okay? Okay. Well, congrats on being not pregnant. <laughs> you worked so hard on the abortion story. And yeah. I think you drove yourself a little nuts about it. Yeah, I did. I was, I was like, every, every other take after we would finish, I'd be like, oh my god, I don't know, was that good? Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, yeah, I was very nervous about it, because I, want, I want it to be right. I want it to be good for... Um, other girls who are going through the same thing and um, just make a make an impact for the other people. It was my first big plot, and um, of course, I mean, I'm so I was so nervous. I'm still like nervous to see it. I think I've seen a couple of scenes. I'm just like, oh no, I don't want to look anymore. Well, I'm so nervous for fans to see it. Like, I mean, listen, we've done abortion stories on this show before. Yeah. I think this is since uh, DeGrasse Junior High. We did we did it there, but we never walked into the into the actual. We never walked into the actual center. What we do with you is I don't think we've ever, I've ever seen another, sh another show. It always yeah, ends with like, yeah. at the door, <laughs> it closes like she made a decision. And to go in with you takes away so much of the... It made it more real. It's so personal yeah. too. And it's yeah, like personal, like intimate. To like to that and like and kind of seeing it play out. Yeah. yeah. She had to choose from being judged by everyone and her decision or being pregnant at 16, 15. Uh, dealing with a lot of stress, um, schoolwork, you know, like. Well, I, for me, what was different also was watching, watching Lola was the first character that, it wasn't just about being sixteen. It was also just like I don't want it. Yeah. I'm not connecting that way. No. It's that's where I think. I feel that's a really true story. I feel like there's. A it's super true. Oh, that's so true. I feel like this happens all the time. Like. 
wow, these are real stories and um, it's going to hit home for a lot of people. But it's also really hard to talk about because you don't want to offend anyone's sensibility as far as what they believe in. Exactly. But, and that's, that, that's why I wish it was. That like, you do your thing, I'll do mine. Don't get in my face about how I should be controlling yeah. my body. Yeah, exactly. But that, you know, that is a pretty hard subject because it's like, it affects the guy's life as well. Of course it does. It yeah. super affects it. And like, <clears throat> if he doesn't want the baby and you want the baby, like, that's where it's like, you're gonna, I'm gonna have to get that guy to pay child support or like support right. me. That's very true. You think that people are gonna resent Lola for not telling Keep it. Oh, for not oh, telling Miles. Oh, yeah. Miles fans are going to be like freaking yeah, out. Yeah, they're like, going to oh, be. They're going to be all oh, over. Oh, I got it. Yeah. So, what was it like uh, working with Eric? Were you directing that scene where, like, we when he like ripped down the poster? Yes. We went to rehearse that upstairs, and I told him like, "Okay, I'm very nervous working with you. Um, um, like, nervous you're just how? so. In I was just so intimidated by him. He's so amazing. Like, and mm -hmm. he's like, those eyes, like." Like, literally, when we were doing that scene, I don't yeah. know if you, I forgot my lines. I looked at him, I was like, what? I get so, oh like, my God. So you want that challenge. Yeah, I loved yeah. it. I loved it. I loved every second. Um, he's really amazing. Eric, I miss you. <sighs> it's a lovely story about you two. You guys are, yeah. have uh, this real story of, like, they're strangely really fair with each other, which you don't really get on Degrassi. They're both, like, helping each other, too. Like, I feel like it's a time where they both really need each other. So yeah. it's, like, it just kind of worked that way. Um, I don't know how we're going to talk about this in a short period of time. Because the whole season is really about um, the survival of a couple of our main characters. This is my latest post. It's over 50 since the bus crash. I'd blink once if you totally loved it. Did you just... Can you hear me? Tristan, can you hear me? It's crazy. It's so crazy. Now all you guys are having these crazy intimate moments sort of caused by the shock of that. Yeah. Like, oh my gosh, the heart-wrenching scene where he's like just to asking him to wake up, wake up, and he's yeah. just there and like, oh, oh my so goodness. Like, it's, it's really tough. It's heart, like that whole like, fear of oh. the unknown too. It's like you just genuinely don't know what's and going like what to happen. And what if randomly, well, he did wake up, but like, you know that. You'd be there for 10 years. It's like, I'm exactly. standing by your side. Yeah. And at this point, is he just, you know, a vegetable on a, on a, in a bed? Yeah. yeah, you have to ask yourself, is it healthy for Miles to stay in that, in that environment? Why is Tristan the right character to do this to, do you think? Mm. That's a good question. I think it, it, it I don't know if it, it's good for Tristan. I think it, it helps, it helps Miles. Yes, thank you. That's, yeah. it's like, it's yeah. let's do that story with Miles. Yeah. And, and honestly, there's a lot of fun stuff, to, not fun, but stuff that happens to on, on Tristan's journey that's really, really cool. Mm -hmm. um, I hope that people, I think, listen, it's good to be scared about your characters that you love. You don't want to see them go. But oh my God, it's like the best romance ever by the time the end. It's like, it's epic. It's epic. <laughs> Let's talk about, very quickly though, oh uh, about time and how, but you can feel mm. the time racing by the time you get to the 10th episode mm. of what Maya decides to do. Breathe in, hold it. Hold it, go on, begin to let go, cause there's no reason I'm turning myself. Well, it was really interesting that you told it kind of through her perspective, right? It was kind of more like we saw her side to it as opposed to seeing it from sort of like an outsider Yeah, because like what you did with Cam, yeah. um, where it was just like out of nowhere, and it, that's showing you that you don't know the sign, like, Sometimes you just don't know. But the also, signs. what was cool about this one, though, was that usually it's like sometimes there's cries for help, whether it be in a poem or something posted, like no one knows my pain and blah blah blah. She, we show her this whole season putting on this face of I'm happy, I'm connected, and how that's a real thing. That it's not about the sign sometimes that you're getting. The one that really we should be worried about is the one that just seems to be coasting. Maya's been through a ton, and uh, that's something that really, really, at first, um, I'm not even going to lie because this topic is so serious, like it almost bothered me when she was looking at the photos of people who were, you know, and she was like imagining herself in that. Oh my and, God, it's so And so she so found crazy. peace, and I'm like, whoa, but whoa, hold yeah, on. You know what I mean? She holds herself under the water and goes, what, how could I, I drown myself? This. I love that scene. Yeah. I love it so much, and it's it. just like, but this is not a girl who's sitting there and going, I wish I had my, I could take a selfie right now. Mm -hmm. She's going, I could, I'm alone and I can do it. 
I want to be alone and do it. It's yeah. heartbreaking. And it's like, I think that, first of all, oh my God, Olivia did an amazing job. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. Olivia was. That's not an easy. Olivia always no, freaks me out because yeah. she, I don't, like I know she, she gets, she was always growing. She's always growing. It was a very awesome performance from coming to someone that was coming from a healthy place and understanding why it was so important. Yeah. I think it was good for all of us also. It was like, yeah, we had definitely. It was an eye opener, that's for yeah, sure. I like, even so uh, she was, uh, uh, she did an all nighter and she was just looking at tragedies and typing away and oh, looking yeah. at all the different stuff. And mm -hmm. I'm thinking, what happened? Like, she, like, the cool thing is that her character's just gone in through so many, like, directions, like, so many different things that led her to this spot where she's deciding. You know, uh, she should have. Uh, she needed help a long time ago. Yeah, uh, that's true. <laughs> for but sure. I'll tell you. I think this whole season was the first time I saw um, a show that uh, really affected everybody. I think we got like you come into this. You're brand new. You guys have know what the show's about. Yeah. There's really. Cruz cool. never talked about a season this much before. These are you know, big, burly men, and they can't be in. This, they can't. They didn't want to be in the room for certain scenes. It's, it touches people, you know? Okay, okay, we're wrapping up. We're wrapping up. Guys, thank you for watching. I'm so proud of you guys. Really killer work. And, uh, cute button. <laughs>